So our objective is to produce a report like this, which has a simple dashboard, which displays a summary chart, department-wise total salary as a bar chart and a table. Our data source is going to be the simple employee master. Yeah. So let's see what it takes to produce a report like this. This report is interactive, so I can click on a certain department and it shows me only the employees of a certain department. I can also click on more than one item uh, by pressing control and I can see both the employees. I click outside to clear. So that's our objective. So let's open a new instance of Tableau and see how we can get there. So what I'm going to do is to drag and drop this employee master. So this is the page in which you connect to the data source. So when you bring in Excel here on the left hand side, you will see all the sheets that are there. So this is the particular sheet that we are interested in. So double click on this. It shows you something similar to your Excel view. Yeah. So if you just compare this, these are very similar. So that's what you got here. So our job is done. And now we go here. You see something dimensions and measures here. Very quickly, measure is a number. So any number that is there in our Excel data set, you can see salary, age, they are listed in this. Anything else is listed here. Yeah. So ignore the rest of the things. So let's understand how do we generate the bar chart. So when you drag any number, so we are interested in producing a bar chart of salary, right? So let's drag and drop this to any one of these areas. It can be columns. So let me drop, drop in columns and see what happens. So it is now drawing a horizontal bar chart. So if I move this by dragging and dropping here, it produces a vertical bar chart. Yeah. So and then I want department wise. So I'm going to click department and put it here. This is what I get. Yeah. So this is similar to what we want. So uh, that's all. So we got if you hover over this, this is called a tooltip. So you get a department wise what is the number so the first step is done so i'm just gonna give a quick name so now i'm gonna create a new uh, sheet now we want to create a table so last time i told you if you drag and drop a number to rows or columns yeah it always produces a chart right so how do we then produce a table so we cannot drag and drop here so for table you need to drag and drop in this place called text t for tables that's what you can remember so let's start off by dragging and dropping here so it gives us this total number which is the total salary across all the departments right so now to drag and drop so employee number i can bring name yeah uh, and then what else was there so let's look at the specification year of joining so i'm going to bring this it's automatically putting year of join and that's all so we got all the things that we want yeah so this now table is also done so so both things are produced. So now go to this second sheet, which is called dashboard. So in each of the sheets, we are building one type of report, either a bar chart or a table or any type of chart, but only one. If you want to have more than one, that is what is called the dashboard. As you can see, this icon gives you four squares. Like to give you an indication, it can have more than like a four. Yeah, but number is not fixed. You can have four, you can have three. So first I'm going to drag and drop here because it is saying drop sheets here. So I did this. So it's fitting this whole thing into yeah in a big view. So let's keep it as at that and then drag and drop. If you hover over this, it is telling you I, I, I can place it here. I can place it here. I can place it at the bottom. Yeah. So I place it at the bottom. So now both things are there. If I click on this, nothing is happening here. Yeah. So that is called a filter which is turned here. Yeah. So each time you click on one of the values, this if you turn on this filter, the rest of the reports in the dashboard will basically act on the filter. So I'm going to turn this on. Click on this. This is looking good. Yeah. So now in terms of if you just look at these two, this looks much more presentable right? than this. So that is because here this option, if you see here, it is called fitting with option. So there are four options. The entire view is selected instead of this let's use this this gives you you can play around and see what other options are the same thing here this is standard and still there is a scroll bar appearing it's not a good idea to have scroll bars here there's no scroll bars right the data is very limited that option sizing is here so you go here and select automatic and then depending on your screen size it will automatically fit 
so now let's click and see whether everything is working fine and select basically more than one by clicking control it, it's all working fine so we are done yeah so now how do we save this so now we want to save this and send it to somebody by email yeah let's say our, your boss wants uh, this report so let's go to the default option the save and save us let's use save to start with so it creates this option called employ by default twb yeah there's one more option that is given so as a newcomer let's accept whatever is the standard right so so i'm going to call it employee analysis uh, so let's call it v1 yeah just so this is done so we are done with basically finishing this now i can email this to my boss and he should be able to see this correct so that's all for the first part